Good morning and welcome to Wednesday in the Woods. Today I want to talk to you about why the real fire isn't fire. The real fire for humans is modeling. See, fire is the original way that we learned as a species to control uncertainty, fear, and anxiety, specifically of cold and of certain foodborne illnesses, not that we knew at the time. And so fire is often used as a demarcation between humans and the things that came before humans. And I think this is reasonable, but the real fire, in the sense of the tool, in my opinion, that distinguishes us from others, is modeling. You see, we use models in the same way that we use fire to manage uncertainty to control outcomes and to manage our own fear and anxiety. In the past, other than fire, we would use the sky. We'd look up, we'd see stars, we'd see birds, we'd see birds in the stars, or we'd see things that looked like magical flying space birds like comets or meteors. And we'd infer things from these signs and these symbols. We'd use them for predictions, for augury, for hepatoscopy, for a wide range of things that were, as we say today, wrong, but useful. Historically, models were primarily useful for managing fear and anxiety of societies. Today, we're taking that a little bit further. We're using models, not just to manage our fear and anxiety, but to deduce things, to infer things, to predict things, to actually live with the uncertainty and where possible, take advantage of it opportunistically to convert the risk into value. And so the real fire for our species isn't this stuff. As much as it allows us to convert the cold and the dark into warmth and light and nutrients into something more readily available, our real fire is our ability to use models to convert the uncertainty and risk in the world into opportunity and understanding. And so uh, with that, I hope you all stay warm and uh, way that's a little bit simpler than this, and enjoy your winter. See you next week.